Hey, hello, my fellow adventurers, Seven Adventure here, and today I'm going to be adventuring through your comments once again. You guys seem to really like the last episode, and so I thought I'd put together a little sequel. I'm also thinking of doing these once a month. I think that'd be a really good uh, rate, and uh, just to kind of get around to a lot of comments in one video, and yeah, let's get into it. NMT105 writes, hey, if you're thinking about making a multiplayer Clay Soldier series, I got a server that a few fr friends and I use to play modded Minecraft on. You could use that. That's pretty cool. Not exactly sure how I would utilize the clay sieve or clay soldiers with other people because it's such a it's such a time consuming personal process and project. But regardless, maybe uh, maybe we could play together sometime. I um, haven't really been playing much Minecraft aside from the clay civilizations project. Uh, most been focused in Dead by Daylight. And all that. I have a vid divinity. Um, original Sin game coming up um, right after this video, actually, so yeah, those are the kind of things I'm focused on, but thank you for the offer. Little Caesar's Higo writes, Great video, really high quality editing, and I like the more personal approach you're going for, like you've stated you were going to do. This was on the last um, seven adventures through your comments, and yeah, yeah, I, I really like this kind of format. It's really fun to put together and edit, and... I feel like it is more personable because it is pretty exhausting going through everyone's comments and responding to people and it's not like I have thousands of comments on every video or something like that but even just having a few I feel obligated I feel obligated as a creator to kind of sit down and go through each of them that's not a bad thing at all but yeah thank you for your comment Little Caesars Higo writes, I really like the idea to make music reviews, especially of instrumental music. While I didn't like this song personally, I found your commentary on it very intriguing, especially at 2055, where you managed to pretty much synthesize what I felt at that moment of the song in a way I hadn't really considered before. Great video. Thank you very much. Um, I think I pointed this out before. My music reviews started as a blog, and then they turned into a podcast, and now they've migrated to YouTube, so they've evolved and changed over time. But I really enjoy critiquing other people's work, um, and I'd hope that my work is critiqued by others as well, because as an artist, no one's ever perfect, and everyone always has something to learn. But even more so than that, it's really fun to have other people actually, like, listen to your stuff, not just, you know, have it on in the car while you're taking a road trip and everyone's talking over it, you know what I mean? Not that this song, this was the, this was the dark, creepy dance music. Um, not that that song you'd really listen to in, in too many circumstances, but you get the idea. To have someone sit down and for nearly 30 minutes, well over 30 minutes, um, think about and discuss and really digest your art, it's, it's an honor. And so I'm honored to be able to do that for other people, and I hope that other people do that uh, for me someday. Little Caesars Higo writes, I've actually been playing a lot of DVD lately. Literally just got out of a match. Interesting timing. Yeah, I love Dead by Daylight. It's really fun. My favorite part about Dead by Daylight is just, there's so many perks. There's a good amount of killers. There's a lot of maps. There's just so much replayability. That's what comes to mind when I think of a good game, is replayability. And also, what am I working towards? On Dead by Daylight, I'm working towards unlocking all the perks. I'm working towards building specific builds. I'm working towards being better at juking, being better at looping, all these kind of things. There's so much to improve at. There's so much to upgrade. It can be frustrating at times, especially in the beginning. But once you start learning the, um, the gist of how the game works, it's really rewarding. It's really fun. So I'm glad to see someone else is doing this. Also, I play a lot with the Carcinator. And I think I mentioned him before, but he has a Discord channel, and I'm going to talk to him and see if I can advertise his Discord on this channel, because then um, we may be able to play together. Let's get together and have some fun sometime. Landon Karudis writes, I am watching something I didn't subscribe for. I still love the vid, though. Thank you. Thank you. I think this was on the Dead by Daylight video. I wanted to... I feel like I already made kind of a mistake as a creator, which was kind of selling myself and setting myself up for just one series, which was the CCP. Even though this channel has a bunch of different content with a bunch of different uh, games and skits and comedy, all kinds of stuff, um, 
I feel like releasing so much CCP kind of set that idea in everyone's minds that that's what I do, and that's my entire life. And I don't want it to be like that. I really enjoy it, and I'm going to keep doing it every Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific Time is going to be a new video upload. But at the same time, I don't want to just do that. I want to I want to do music on this channel. I want to do other games. Um, and I just hope as an audience, um, you all will come to, or, or maybe you already do, appreciate the, th the other things that I do that isn't CCP. And, um, and I want to thank you for sticking with me, even though you're watching videos that you maybe didn't subscribe for in the first place. So thank you very much. Thank you for this comment. This is the kind of comment that makes me go, okay, doing the right thing. It's not the kind of comment that makes me go, ah, damn it. I love it. Do you know what time it is? Who was that? What was that? One, two, three. It's the Rise Capuchon Special. Who is this? Why does he get a special? Because he comments a lot. Okay, Rise Capuchon, you are a special, special pro gamer. You comment a lot. And most of the time, it's just kind of meaningless comments. But I thought you deserve a special for all the times you comment on my videos. So let's uh, let's compile it all together and uh, have some fun, shall we? I, got, I gotta give you a good voice too. Keep up the good work. Go Orang. Cool. With three O's. Cool. With four O's. Nice. With zero O's. Cool. With six O's. Do more with two O's. Cool! With five O's. Pulls sep up the good. Pulls sep up the good. Pulls sep up the good. Cool. With two O's. The way it's meant to be spelled. Wait. I feel like he's trying to tell me something the, with the numbers that he's giving me. The number of O's and the cools. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick math. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. I can't figure it out. Yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you, Rise Cabajon, for your support and your commenting. It's it's very entertaining to uh, see all the cools that you uh, you put down in my videos. Yeah, thanks. Next comment comes from Jim. This is the singer slash drummer of Silent Storm. Um, I music reviewed his uh, Eye of the Storm, and he left a really nice comment. Hey, Seven Sky, I'm the singer slash drummer of Silent Storm. Interesting to hear a non-metal guy's critique on Eye of the Storm. We play new wave of traditional heavy metal, and the epic triumphant rallying vibe is certainly intentional, as was the insignia. The compliments are flattering, as I designed cover artwork. I did not know that. That's really cool. This tune was originally a folk power metal instrumental called Gaelic Storm, and both versions on our new debut EP. The song can't be restructured now after being published worldwide, since concert goers expect the studio arrangement to be played live. Yeah, I, I understand that. You gotta please the people. I was also wondering why there was two, um, why there were two of that song on the, um, on the EP. So that answers that. Heavy metal instrumentals are rarely built with typical verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, solo, chorus in mind. Good references can be found in early albums by bands like Metallica and Iron Maiden. Yeah, I didn't know how out of the way um, heavy metal went as far as following certain structures. I assumed it was similar to pop or rock or whatever, but I do understand it's a different genre, so uh, that, that does intrigue me. That doesn't fall into um, stereotypical traps, if you will as far as form goes. After performing the version with no singing many times, fans demanded lyrics, so I wrote about going in insane from insomnia caused by panic attacks. Damn, that's one heavy topic to cover. Yeah, if fans demand lyrics, you give it all to them. That is really cool. Yeah, I wish I was better about hearing lyrics, but, but I, it, it just doesn't come naturally to me. Somewhat grim, yes, but very metal. 
Glad you like the kettle drums floor tom breakdown. Tambourine is more common in commercial metal from the 80s, but rare in our subgenre. Even so, I use it in several songs. Happy it made you smile, haha. <laughs> yeah. The layers of guitars, sometimes six of them, were all played by James Lynn, who did the wicked screams at the end, by the way. Oh, cool. I was wondering, <laughs> sometimes six of them. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Again, huge thanks for doing this. We appreciate it so much, Jimbo. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, I love getting these kind of comments because, you know, when you're making a music review, when you're talking about someone's art, yes, you're giving it attention, and yes, you are speaking your mind, but you really got to be careful. So far, I haven't had this scenario. I review, mu I review music, and then somebody else comes, and they say, oh my god, you've, you've hurt, hurt me, you've hurt my art, you know, things like that. You've said too much or something like that. Luckily that hasn't happened. I'm sure it will happen sometime in the future. And maybe as I get more comfortable, I might, you know, slip up here and there and uh, speak my mind too much, which I hope doesn't really happen. But, but this is really nice to see this happen. Every time I publish a music review for the next couple days, I'm just like crossing my fingers that, that they say good things about it. If they don't say anything about the music review or even like, like it on Facebook or anything, I'm always aware of like, oh shit, what did I do? So, this is really nice to see. Thanks, Jim. Little Caesars Higo writes, Really interesting video. Sorry for the noobish, qu Sorry for the noobish question, but in the third track of the video, Endless Rain, you include diverse instruments like the viola and even a bass and cello, according to the editor. Did you record these instruments yourself for the track? Even if you didn't, even if you didn't, their fluidity playing together in the track clearly showcases a deeper understanding of how they function in conjunction. Keep it up. Function and conjunction. Function and conjunction. Okay, yeah. Um, so there's a few things here. Um, one of them is, I think you know this, but your comment kind of implies that the editor and me may be separate people, and they're definitely not. Um, but aside from that, did you record these instruments yourself on the track? No, I do not play, um, I don't play any stringed instruments. I did take, I took a term in at Southern Oregon University on uh, on playing guitar, but that wasn't very in-depth, and I don't consider myself a guitar player in any way. Most of the time, I'll just take uh, this keyboard right here, which has a bunch of shit on it right now. Most of the time, I'll just take this, you know, um, have the voices loaded up and use this as a MIDI controller, so that means whatever notes I'm playing here records it onto my computer in the voice that it's supposed to be, um, and tools like this are super essential for somebody doing what I'm doing because you can play any instrument without knowing how to play it. Of course, it does help to have an understanding of how the real instrument would handle. I think I'm just kind of rambling at this point. I think you kind of get the... Uh, get the idea. But yeah, if you want me to make more videos on music stuff um, and my world in that, just uh, just leave a comment. Thanks again, Little Caesars. Lastly, we have uh, Landon Crudis again. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This was on the video about music that I did that was kind of going through my FL Studio and Vienna Symphonic Library a little bit, things like that. Um, so I said, feel, feel free to speak your mind. And he said, I'm not really into this kind of thing, though. And um, I just said, no worries, still uploading regular gaming content, so just ignore the stuff if you want. Okay, thanks for listening. So yeah, if you don't like any of the stuff that I'm posting on this channel, I mean, I should rephrase that. If you find a couple of things that you're not really into, don't worry. My channel is not is not going to turn into one thing. My channel is not going to be purely CCP. It's not going to be pur purely music. It's not going to be purely video games. I want to I want to do a lot of stuff. I want to show you guys who I am and I'm not just one of these categories. I am um, a jumbling of so many things that I do. And so yeah, I wouldn't really expect any of you to actually appreciate the music reviews or any videos that have to do about have to do with music and the reason is 
that's not why you came here. That's not why you subscribed. Chances are you subscribed for the Play Civilizations Project, or you subscribed for Amnesia the Darkness. Just kidding. No one was even around back when I was doing that shit. So yeah, I definitely understand by putting this stuff out there, it's going to get a lot less views, and people are probably not going to care about it as much. But my hope is that other people will come to the channel from the music stuff, and will see my other gaming stuff, and will say, I'm not really into his gaming, but I'm into his music. And then some people are going to be saying kind of what they're saying now, which is, I'm into the gaming, I'm not into the music. And so, you know, I just kind of want to have a lot of things. A little bit of uh, quantity over quality, if you will, because I'm not focusing so hard in one specific thing. You know, I always see it. I always see this on YouTube. All these creators that they kind of get burnt out, or they kind of feel they feel kind of dead on the inside because they've they've poured so much time into this one thing that they don't want to do it anymore, but their audience keeps demanding it, and that's a very draining thing. So I don't want to set up the expectation that I am focused in one thing and not a jack-of-all-trades of sorts. Anyway, this episode probably wasn't as funny as some of the other content that I've put out more recently, so I apologize for that, but I want to thank you all for watching. So if you're signing off, please rate, comment, subscribe to become an adventurer today. And if you like what you see, share some of my videos, share some of the love, and I'll see you all in the next episode of whatever I do. Seven Adventures signing off.